Good evening. I'm Deborah Moore, and as the AP Arts and Music Programs Director for the O'Donnell Foundation, it's my privilege to welcome each of you to the 2010 Young Masters Exhibition hosted by the Dallas Museum of Art. I'm not sure how many of you watched the 82nd Academy Awards ceremony last Sunday. I'm a sucker for it every year, but I was struck by the speech of Michael Giacano, who won an award for Up, the movie Up. He stated, when I was nine, I asked my dad, can I have your movie camera? That old wind up eight millimeter camera that was in your drawer? And he goes, sure, take it. And I took it and I started making movies with it. And I started being as creative as I could. And never once in my life did my parents ever say, what are you doing wasting your time? What you're doing is not a waste of time, never. And I grew up, I had teachers and I had colleagues and I had people that worked with me all through my life who always told me what you're doing is not a waste of time. So it was normal to me that it was okay to do that. Young masters, we know that you've had individuals in your life that tell you what you're doing. Making art is okay. It's important. It should be rewarded. Besides your parents and your family, we know that a very important person has played a large role in your recognition tonight, your AP Studio Art teacher. AP Studio Art teachers, please stand and let us recognize you for all you do on behalf of these young masters and art educators. These teachers rarely get the recognition they so deserve. But one very special person has served as a mentor to hundreds of AP arts and music theory teachers in the Dallas community <clears throat> for some 16 years. And she's made it her mission <clears throat> to recognize and honor fine arts teachers as well as their students. We're here tonight because Edith O'Donnell knows what we do is not just okay. It's wonderful, it's important, it's vital. We thank you for sharing your passion with countless others and serving as an example for future generations. Mrs. Edith O'Donnell, would you please stand and let us recognize you. Finally, the following preliminary judges deserve special thanks for selecting the 42 works of art exhibited from 280 pieces submitted for consideration. Susan Barnett, artist and adjunct instructor of art at the Southern Methodist University and Brookhaven College. Michael Corus, PhD, professor of art and chair of division of art, Meadows School of the Arts at Southern Methodist University. Michael, I know you're here tonight. Would you mind standing? Thank you. Rick Maxwell, artist, interim dean for the School of the Arts at Brookhaven College. I know you're here tonight. Rick? Is he there? <laughs> I saw him. And Ellen Soderquist, artist, instructor of life drawing. Ellen was here this evening as well. Thank you, Ellen. The O'Donnell Foundation is deeply grateful to the Dallas Museum of Art for hosting the Young Masters exhibition and wishes to thank Bonnie Pittman, the Eugene McDermott Director, and Gail Davitt, League Director of Education. Are they here this evening? 
I'm sorry, I cannot see. We are so deeply indebted to Maria Teresa Pedrocci, Head of Family Experiences and Community Engagement, whose leadership has contributed greatly to the success of this exhibition as so many years in the past. Thank you very, very much. And would like to recognize Dr. Jeffrey Grove, Hoffman Family Senior Curator of Contemporary Art, for serving as the final judge of the exhibition. He selected the awards winners, and he will be speaking for us to us this evening. Dr. Jeffrey Grove. And now I'm going to turn it over to Maria Teresa Pedrocci, and she will introduce Dr. Jeffrey Grove, our final judge.